Good afternoon. I think you should tell them it's going to start sleeting any minute. Yeah, it's... Hello, Cosmos, Brandon, a.k.a. Hi Highway Hunter Ray. Hi, Brian, Josh, Scott. That's my next cold beverage. <laughs> that was a weird mix from what you just had earlier. <laughs> I think you just, you don't even open this, right? You just throw it in there? Do you know people not go from drinking beer to iced coffee? Like, one after the next? <laughs> it is very cold out. Hey, it worked. We're both wearing our coveralls. <laughs> I threw one of those fancy color packet things in there. Yeah, we got ice and snow coming. It's already icy all around here. I don't know if you can see all the... Uh, chert ice needles everywhere. But it's cold. <laughs> it's only like 22. <laughs> and dropping. <laughs> I think it's dropping. The fire's going down a bit. Oh, I'm getting covered in ash. <laughs> I'm afraid to stand too close to the fire. Can you give me the uh, refresh <laughs> over there. The diesel? Yeah. No, let, let it burn. Let's see what happens. It's all wet and dry. <laughs> or, it's all wet and frozen. <laughs> also dry. It's not dry. It's not at all. Oh. I was like, why can't I connect to YouTube? I'm still connected to Wi-Fi at my bus. Oh, thank you. The has gave us a super chat there. I just got in Tyler a couple bucks for the Indiana duo who are now in Tennessee. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, we got nasty weather coming. Tyler went to the store a little while ago, and the road, our road, is really slippery. Tyler, go grab a handful of those church. Those. Oh, you're gonna. You're gonna stoke the fire. Hang on. <laughs> Careful. Stoked the fire. <laughs> he stoked the side of the can. <laughs> Did it work? Yeah, go grab a handful of those ice needles and show them close up. Just, yeah, just try and pick one up, like a whole section. So this is ground level. This Hang on, they can't see you at all. Get over here. This is flush with the ground, is right down here. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> it's weird. You walk in the driveway and you drop an inch. Yeah, every it's... time. Turn it, turn it around. Let me see the backside. Yeah, it's just crazy. And yeah, it's just it's everywhere. When you I walk mean... on it, it just compresses like that yeah. <laughs> and shatters. I'll pull back some fire because you have to pick up ice with my bare hand. <laughs> These are the only coveralls I own. <laughs> He's not kidding. <laughs> Mine have been in the toolbox of my flatbed for a while, so they're nice and frosty. Cool. They stretch. They're, they're kind of my equivalent of Thanksgiving sweatpants. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, super cold. The weather's getting nasty. We got a whole bunch of work here to do, but you know we don't want to do it in the snow and ice and super cold. <laughs> don't pick that up. <laughs> I'm not you. I wasn't going to. What was it you did that to the other day? What now? What was it? You, oh, it was the when we made a pizza. <laughs> He uses the uh, oven mitt to take a pizza out of the convection oven, put it down, he cuts the pizza, doesn't touch the pan, very carefully lifts the slices up, then just grabs the pan and picks it back up and wonders why he burns himself. <laughs> I clearly forgot that the pan was hot. <laughs> and then like five different times after that, he kept trying to put the oven mitt away while there was another pizza in the oven. <laughs> so what are we going to get done this week? We are going to pull the hydraulic power steering ram off of the scenic cruiser that'll be fun we'll probably do that as a live um and then we're going to uh over the weekend get to the actual some stuff on the scenic cruiser get it ready to go we got lance's parts are here we would have been working on lance's bus today but the weather's just so nasty i'm gonna come in a little closer here that little that little packet thing is super cool in there you see the funky little colors down there Okay, do you want to go back? Do you want to read through some of the... Oh, yeah, that's cool. You want to read through some of the comments, Tyler? I can. Look at the live stream pulled up. Phone down. Maybe you need to stoke the fire again. I'll stoke the fire. Let me back, back, back up. <laughs> stoked yeah kyle's bus is done and he's gone the last video that we had finished their bus he may be coming back i'm not sure if he wants to put larger injectors in it i recommend that he does because it's got super tiny tiny injectors in it he's got a lot of horsepower left on the table with that thing it's it's set for 277 horsepower for that giant bus which is crazy I mean, I'm nearly running that on my bus with my propane and stuff, so his bus is very, very large and heavy. Well under its weight. Eagles are heavy. Oh, yeah. Everyone seems to be enjoying the bunny suit. Get Tyler a bunny suit. does a set of injectors typically cost if you're looking to resize you can usually get them for anywhere from 100 to 150 dollars an injector so you're usually in the middle range of that 125 something like that but i looked up a set for brandon the other day and they were about 100 bucks for a 92 series yeah he's looking to get a semi that's a non-turbo and he was asking about getting a turbo on there to make more power but being a non-turbo motor with a non-bypass blower what size injectors is he looking for Possibly some like 1990s. Oh, well, that's way too big for a non turbo. It's a semi. I don't care. That's a lot. You're, he's going to have a lot of black smoke, but if that's what he wants. Well, then we can put boost on top of it. <laughs> it said 9A90 is in a 6B92. T. It's, uh, there's a horsepower listing for them in a non turbo, too. Huh. Or, sorry, it's an 8B. Oh. It's an 8B92. That's a lot. Yeah, but then we can put boost on it later. All right, what else we got? Oh, I was relaxing my phone. <laughs> you were standing in front of it, so I assumed you were reading them. Mom said it's hard to hear us. Move the phone closer to this way. Uh, I guess we should have restuffed the fire before we do that. You just got to talk louder. Well, that was the last question, other than they can't hear me, is what was the cost to redo the injectors? Talk louder. I'm trying. <laughs> I don't usually talk that, well, I mean, I talk loud, but not, it's the same volume constantly. 
Be careful. The sleet is starting. <laughs> yes, it is starting to sleet. It is amazing how much diesel it takes to get wet wood to burn. Yeah, all that burn had ice on it when we threw it in there. That wood. I figured some of it would have took off by now. Okay, easy boy, it's going. More heat, more dry. That is warmer. <laughs> so anyways, we got work to do on Lance's bus. We got all his parts came in from Luke at US Coach. Um, and then Tyler's working on this Airstream that's up here. And they got the engine stuff sorted out on it mostly, right? Yeah, I think we're still gonna try to fix the exhaust because it's got a giant hole in it. Yeah. But parts have been ordered for the electrical stuff we're doing on it. Impressive sounding. <laughs> yeah, somebody over there has a cool hot rod. You don't know that. My truck can sound like that from a distance too, and you've seen what my flatbed looks like. Hey, they weren't very far off of that time estimate of the sleet starting. Yeah. Um, back to what we got going on this week. So some work on the scenic cruiser, some work on Lance's bus. Tyler will have some jobs that he's doing on this thing, and then we're gonna try and get some more stuff done on the build of his bus. Tomorrow, I think we're going to get in his bus. If we go get, we ran out of two by fours, but I got a bunch of two by sixes down on the pad that I told him he can have. So we might just go get those, rip those down and finish up his walls. If we have that, we can completely finish the one side of my bus, the walls at least. The other side though, you said we need to wait till we get cabinets in, I think, to do the walls because they're going up to the cabinets. Right. The what now? Are we going to have to wait till we do cabinets in to do the walls in the other one? It'd be, well, yeah, that way. Otherwise, you just have to cut part of it out once you measure where your cabinets go. We might just go get cabinets then because the storage would be nice to have too. I think I don't have tops on it for right now. All right, you want to read some more questions, Tyler? Yeah. Maybe stand closer to the camera. I moved closer to the fire too. <laughs> Not a question, but someone said they love the videos in the bus conversion. Is there an official start date on the building? No, there is not. What do you mean? They're already, we already started. <laughs> I picked up and moved a lot of panels. <laughs> it's, it's been moved up here. We staked it out this week where it goes. Uh, we measured ground level. Sal, Sal brought his transit out and we measured the elevation changes across the, from the whole thing, one corner to the next. So, I mean, we're getting there. We're getting ready to get, bring a bunch of chert in that's going to come up here to level out the, the base where it's going to go. That's all we got for comments right now. There's the people complaining they can't Somebody hear me. Somebody just posted something. They said DC is in the house. You missed something before that. So once your garage is built, will you still be going on the road? I will, just uh, once the, the virus stuff and the world's back to normal, but not not as much. I think we're going to kind of split it up 50-50, 50% here, 50% on the road with me and Kelly. You say that, but you're going to have such a backlog after this. Oh, I already have like a three-year waiting list. There's no way I can get to it all. I, I just, but that's, just, I can't be on the road all that long. Yeah. I love it here too much, but I will still go on the road. I miss visiting my sister in Portland. I miss my clients that are out in the Michigan and out west. That whole trip that we always take up there. I haven't been to Florida in a while. Yep. Stoking the fire. Just be careful. I only kind of set the barrel on fire that time. Yeah. We're getting better at this. Professional. Eventually it'll burn. It is definitely like a freezing rain right now. Yeah. Look at the windshield of your truck. It's all iced over. The dually was like that earlier when I took it. Do you want your wiper off. blades like pulled away from the windows or no? No, when am I going to drive that truck? Okay. There's salt on the road. That truck ain't going out anyway. <laughs> 
you can sit there and thaw with the road. Like I said earlier, the key for driving in the winter is drive something with full coverage that you don't really care about. Got other stuff to drive. Any more comments? Yeah, a bunch of them probably. Brandon said we get that semi of his going. He'll go out on the road and go get us some equipment picked up. Awesome, yeah. We can get a trailer. Yeah, I'll go. I'll road trip with you up to go get it. Yeah, that would be awesome. We haven't had a semi pull the hill yet. <laughs> uh, will you still have an apartment for you and mom? Bed, bath, kitchenette, uh -huh. all that in the shop. Yeah. Yes, that's going to happen for sure. We're going to have a nice little apartment in there. Oh, we've been getting everything kind of prepared here for this nasty weather. We're going to probably not be able to get off the property here for a couple of days, it seems like. So we went and filled up all of our diesel tanks today. What do you mean we? Charged the Tyler, went and filled up the diesel tanks. I carried the empty ones over to you, so that counts as me helping. <laughs> of course, he's wasted about a gallon of diesel on this fire already. <laughs> I'm not even the one who went and grabbed that. If I was gonna go grab fuel, I'd grab gas. It burns a lot faster. I should get some of the waste oil from down on the barrel to throw in there like that. How is the diesel heater doing on the buses? How's yours? I love mine. It's incredible. Um, our mini split, we run it all the time right now, but it's not doing quite as well with it being so, you know, in the 20s, it loses its efficiency a lot. Uh, but just by having that diesel heater in there going, it makes up the difference and keeps it nice and toasty warm in our bedroom. We just have a fan that circulates things around through there. Mine's been nice. I'm running mine a little bit lower right now than I have been because I don't want to go through a lot of diesel over the next few days because I want to go get it. But if we lose yeah. power or something, I'll need it more than I do. So I want to make I sure that I have the fuel conserved. We, uh, we've turned our battery charger on on our bus to make sure that our batteries were at 100%. Um, if for some reason we end up losing power out here and then there's snow and ice on our solar panels, we'll have to get them cleaned off. Um, I do have some extra solar panels in the in the shed I can take out and swap if mine are severely iced over or something. Uh, we got, got our- two on my bus you can use too. Yeah, I've got the generator that came out of my bus on the property and I if the power if they lose power here, I told my neighbors that I'd take it over to their house, hook it up to for them. Seven kilowatt generator, that should run their whole house for them. Um, who knows with this big of an ice storm coming if it's gonna be an issue or not, but at least we've got it and it's available. I don't need it because of solar, and then Tyler can come stay on my bus if he had to. Yeah, as long as I just, I, I'm charging batteries, spare batteries right now, so my diesel heater will always have enough power to run through for a few days. That's the only thing I'm worried about, leaving that on low so my water bay doesn't freeze. You know, we're southwest of Nashville, and if you look at the weather, it's pretty nasty. What's coming? Pretty nasty for this area, not something that we're on... You know, it's not a foreign storm to us, except uh, where we're from. Well, an ice storm wherever you're from is always nasty. It is. There, there's no good way to get around ice. But at least by us, most of the power lines were buried, so we didn't have as many power outages in the winter. I think it's funny. I moved here for less winter, and it's the worst winter they've had in a while. <laughs> Some of those ice needles over there, that looks like it's raised up a foot. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> Go step in the middle of that, like just crunch it down and see if it is. <laughs> is that all ice needle? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of ice in there. <laughs> That's crazy. That's all 
all knew though there was water down there, and that's why we put that there. There are holes drilled in that barrel. It's one of the sand to drill holes in it. I have a pause, so I can't see what that looks like. <laughs> He's keeping warm. <laughs> well, the new shop he heated with wood. No. I'm going to maybe test it to put something in there in the future, but... Yeah, so he said no. Maybe. That's what I plan on doing for mine. I'd love to have wood heat in mine. There's so much down wood around here, it's not going to be hard to find it. Because my backup will be the same thing I've always done in my garage, and just running a giant diesel heater. I'm more inclined to do a waste oil burner. Yeah, I, well, I can see that. We have tons of waste oil. The initial investment's a little high on that, but then you'll never have to worry about getting rid of the oil either. At some point, that should uh, actually start burning, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eventually. I think what might have uh, ruined it burning is the uh, quarter of a tree we put on top. Yeah. That's an Airstream motorhome that's up here that Tyler's working on a cat. What is What engine is it? 3126. The mechanic, well, it's the predecessor to a C7, 7.2 liter inline six. Yeah, you don't have enough holes in that beer. There are holes in it, but you don't have enough. That one that I've got down in the thing, I've got probably 30 holes in it or more. Yeah, my build uh, drill battery was dying when yeah. I did that, so we got what I had in the battery. Yeah, it's working though. It's the wet wood is the problem. There's some drain holes in the bottom, and we've got some around the bottom ring right now. I do have an idea, though. Yeah, I would never go from drinking beer to whatever that was. The iced coffee? That iced coffee. Right yeah, that's a weird combination. Well, I was going to bring more beer, but I didn't think you'd be happy about that. <laughs> you know, I got some beer that I need to show off. That You only tried the one kind that one day. You talking about the non-alcoholic beer? Hey, hey, be nice. Is that what we're that is about? some very tasty beverage right there. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. You didn't particularly care for the one that was a uh, grapefruit kind of flavor. No, I don't like grapefruit. Though. But the other one's like a. You should go try one of the other ones. I think you'll like it. You want to grab me one? Yeah, I'll go grab it. Okay. Keep them entertained. <laughs> Let me finish my coffee before I have another beer. <laughs> Be right back. All right, now we'll keep you entertained. I can't shoot holes in the barrel. Leroy would not be happy about that this close to the bus otherwise. I would.
It's 21 degrees out here right now. Let's ask Dad when he gets back about where he gets the solar panels from. He's got a place he orders them. Hey, where do you get your solar panels from? Santan Solar. Santan Solar. That's where you get your panels. Gilbert, Arizona. Something, Arizona. Gilbert. Gilbert. So this isn't grapefruit this time, right? No. Okay. Just saying. It's a bit of an ambush last time when you get somebody who doesn't like grapefruit to grapefruit beer. <laughs> this is from the Athletic Brewing Company. It's called Upside Down. Not alcoholic, but don't let that scare you. You're on camera, make it look good. <laughs> it's a slushy. <laughs> it's frozen. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you gave me great. <laughs> I did. You had a blue one last time. That's. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> try that. No thanks. There's no alcohol in it. Just try it. <laughs> You're not a very good spokesman for the Athletic Brewing Company, Tyler. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like Corona. That's generally what I drink. Or Budweiser Draft. Does it really taste like grapefruit? A little bit. Try it. Dead serious. It's also a slushy, so be careful. I can't believe it's frozen like that. The can didn't feel like it was frozen. That's why I said slushy, not ice. Wow. It's very citrusy. <laughs> I'm not lying. No, no. Doesn't really say what. Oh, maybe it tastes different because it's a slush. <laughs> it's a, what is that? Uh, Slurpee. <laughs> I can't think I've ever had a Slurpee and gone, man, I wish this tasted more like beer. <laughs> I have put vodka in it before. <laughs> That's a fun time. I don't really care for beer, and I actually, that wasn't too bad. That's not a very good spokesman either. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. I'm just not a fan of citrusy. Well, I say that. I don't mind Blue Moon. I don't like, like heavy citrusy stuff, though, like this. You read some comments over there? I don't know. My glasses are on my head, I guess. I say you have them somewhere. Again, I also just finished drinking coffee for this. <laughs> Here, you want me to finish it? If you want to take it. Read. I'm not very good at reading comments. I can't even, I don't even know where you stopped at. Somebody, somebody I see, is asking about winterizing a bus. Yeah. Had you been beyond that? Nope, we were before that. Oh, yeah, that'd, that'd be the last question. Yeah. We're going to do for winterizing the outside of your bus. the outside? <laughs> Pretty much so everything's on the inside that you winterize. No, for, when, for being outside of it. They wonder if I'm going to do a hill climb up the bus on, or up the hill on camera with my bus. You already have. Oh no, I drove it. Yeah. So it, it, it's ran the hill. In the bunny suit. <laughs> About dying of heat stroke. 
it would be a a major inconvenience right now <laughs> to try to run it up the hill and I'd probably break a lot of stuff. There's a lot of unsecured building materials. Nothing I winterize on mine. I just turn on the heat in the bay and that's it. That's all I've got going on. My utility bay is heated. I have a waterbed heater laying underneath my aluminum fresh water tank. And that keeps that fresh water tank about 70 degrees and just the heat off of that radiates out enough nothing will freeze in that bay the bay's insulated as well i don't have any of that fancy stuff i have a diesel heater in mine that works too my diesel heater has more outlets than yours though so i could run yeah. one to the bay which i do want i think i want to change that up a little bit i think we're going to plumb another one of the four like split it down two to my bedroom one to the bay and i think we write one the fourth one up to the kitchen in the wall behind the bathroom so it'll come up in the back of the kitchen where i'm going to put the hole in the floor for my electrical so my plumbing in the wall is heated too i would just get rid of the one in the bay period and put two in your bedroom two in the kitchen the one in the bay this have enough heat just from that heater being in there and the radiant heat coming off the hoses as they go through there you will not need a specific one terminating in the bay well, i think i might leave it like that for now until it gets more insulation and i get a water heater in there like a water bed heater for the tank because with an uninsulated bay i don't want to risk it freezing up Yeah, I'd like to split it off so it's putting heat to more parts of my bus. <laughs> what? I just, never mind. Can't say what I was going to say. <laughs> They're asking you what color you would paint the exterior of my bus. Moron. <laughs> I am really tempted to have a custom shade of red made called Moron. <laughs> AKA Maroon, if you were on that one live feed where I'm like, somebody just wanted you to paint your bus Moron and it was Maroon. <laughs> you know what? I, I was actually wanting to paint a dark candy on the flatbed. Maybe we'll, we'll mix up a custom shade of Moron red for it. <laughs> I don't know how much that costs, but we'll figure it out. The puppy's inside where it's warm. He's not stupid. He's probably curled up on the couch with his blanket. I'm not in there. He might be on the bed with mom. <laughs> Are hoses on the property disconnected from the hydrants? Reminder for everyone. Yeah. yeah everything's they are, but you don't have to on these because we have the frost, the freeze-proof hydrants. So when you cut them down, as long as you don't have an end on it, the water drains out. But all of ours are off. No, mine's on. That one's hooked up, but it, there's no water in it. Yeah. I've drained all my hoses. And they're all laying out. How do you protect your waterbed heater from chafing and stuff and crushing under the tank? It hasn't been a problem yet. I'll just stick mine to the side. Get like one of the stick-on cat's heaters. Yeah, I have one of those on the side there, so I've never used it. It's the one that I got, I, I went crazy big. I bought like 1,500 watts. That's a ridiculous amount of 12-volt power to pull through that thing. I don't know why I bought it that big, so I've never used it. Oh, yours is 12-volt? Yeah. I was going to get like one of the... 110 volt cat stick on heaters like you put on the bottom of an oil pan. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I got the 12 volt because I thought, oh, I'll just use it off my batteries. But it comes with these, I don't know, probably like 10 gauge, maybe 12 gauge wires. They just don't seem heavy enough for that much current to go through it. They get really warm too. Part of the heater. I want to know if I've signed off on the KHOA rules. <laughs> Uh, someone's asking if I have a metal tank. No, I have a, a poly tank in my bus. A temporary one. Which, if I could find a plastic tank that's the way I want and the size I want, I'd probably go with it. Otherwise, I'm just going to TIG weld up a custom bit one to do exactly what I want. Well, it only sleeted for a few minutes and then it went away. But everything is still pretty cold out here. That's enough, mister. I saw you eyeballing another shot. I'm going to get this fire to take off one way or another. It is actually, I can see through the holes on the side that it's burning down at the bottom, too. I threw diesel down there, too. Well, there was a bunch of cardboard down there, so.
Somebody said I needed to shoot a bunch of holes in the barrel earlier. But I don't think Leroy, Leroy doesn't like gunshots, so we have a limit on firing guns around Leroy. Got to give plenty of heads up so Leroy can get uh, <laughs> calmed down. Maybe mom can take him for a drive one day and then you can have some fun. That could make a really fun video. <laughs> we went out and got Thai food the other night and Leroy went with us. He didn't eat Thai food though. That would be a very bad idea. <laughs> Decently spicy. It was pretty good. I really liked the spring rolls. Did you guys see the new merch? We got a whole bunch of new, really cool merch up on our Teespring site. We got that cool love mug. I like that. That's really cool. I got to start doing that at some point. But I think I got to come up with a new logo. <laughs> Just call it Indiana Diesel in the outline of the state of Tennessee. <laughs> joked about going to keep adding states to my arm now. <laughs> I'm for sure keeping the name. It's going to confuse everybody, but I also don't... Only if they know geography will it confuse them. <laughs> I don't have a regular business, though. I don't do work for just anybody that shows up, so I'm not too worried about the name. I generally have a, a pretty good set base of customers, and I deal with just a few good customers. And they'll figure it out eventually. Bus grease monkey's taken. You could be bus grease donkey. How's that? <laughs> Pick an animal. Bus grease sloth? <laughs> sloth. <laughs> if I change my channel name to that for a couple days, I think anyone would notice. Oh, God, that's... Getting close. Let, pull up my Teespring site on your phone. <coughs> Give me a sec. <laughs> You're lucky that's you, Dan. <laughs> I read that. Oh, I gotta read it now. All right. <laughs> Click on that mug there. Isn't that cool? I would say it's time for Valentine's Day until you realize he didn't know it was Valentine's Day. Oh, I did not. Damn it. I still like that one. Let's just go back and see what Dan's comment was. <laughs> he said bus grease moron. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Clearly, he was joking. Down. He was joking. <laughs> I haven't had, I only had one customer ever complain to us about something with Teespring, but they ended up, um, I don't remember what it was, but they, they solved it. They fixed the problem. It just took a, an email to them. So, and we've had them for, I don't know, a year and a half, something like that. And again, nobody has ever, that one guy had one problem with, I can't remember what it was. I wish I could remember. But uh, we sent him an email and they took care of it. It really makes it easier than trying to do it all yourself. But I can't imagine if we actually had to go out and procure the t-shirts, ship them ourselves. As a merchant with them, I don't like, they keep somehow magically adding this boosted thing on there where they, they promote your stuff for you. Um, but when they do that, they take a huge chunk then. So something that you were going to make like, I don't know, let's say $6 profit, you end up making $2 on because they boosted it. So you sell a $20 shirt and you make $2.
because they boosted it. And they like magically just keep adding that feature onto stuff, even though we've deleted it, selected it to not have it boosted, then they do it. That's the only, as a merchant, that really bugs me with them. But I haven't, other than that, I haven't had any other issues. It's all print on demand. It's pretty easy. It's hassle-free for everybody. And they ship real fast. Those mugs have already shipped out that were just ordered a couple days ago. Depending on the t-shirts you have picked out too, they have some really soft, comfortable t-shirts. Mine are all in the really, the really soft material like this one. You can throw that back in there. Just pick it up at this end. <laughs> It was actually burning. <laughs> it's one of the few things that is. Ah, thank you, Michael X. He's excited to have me make his 8V92 sing. Does anybody know how to make timing systems work, by the way, for a racetrack? I need starting and stop beams. And maybe two or three down the road, like a 60 foot, a hundred foot. Yeah, they haven't seen my video. I was hanging that stuff up yet. They saw a picture, a sneak peek picture of it. I don't think it's on YouTube yet though. I don't think I posted it on YouTube. It's only on my Instagram and on my Patreon. Well, still, if anyone has <laughs> suggestions for timing setups for a racetrack, <laughs> I need some timing lights. I don't think I posted it on YouTube. Or not timing lights, but timing beams. I want to make this as official as possible. We, we, we don't have room for stopwatch errors. <laughs> this could be a serious leaderboard. We're going to figure out how we're going to divide up classes. By engine, maybe? Gino said something on there. You might want to read. He checked out something, but it was pretty expensive. I'm sure we can come up with something pretty easy. No, he said he looked them up. They're really expensive. Like $2,500? Yeah, we won't be getting that, Genos. <laughs> Somebody wants to know the URL to buy the merch. It's on the bottom of every video. If you scroll down on the app from the video, uh, the Teespring store is linked. Yeah, it's, you, you should see it on your screen right now somewhere. Or you may have to hide the chat window to see it, but there's always like samples of our t-shirts there. You should click them. In. There's, a, there's a thing called the merch shelf. It's right there. Right there. Right below the show, show it on the... Is there anything on your phone you don't want them to see? <laughs> We're not even showing on my phone. <laughs> Just right there. So if you guys are on the, the chat, there's the chat. Close it. And right there is all the merch. Whoops. Didn't mean to yeah. scroll. Oh, no, the fire's going out. <laughs> it might have gone out. <laughs> we got to have something still going in there. Uh-oh. <laughs> It's back. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I'm not letting it go out. <laughs> we'll be fine without power here. We we have enough solar panels around here to make things be just fine. Oh, that's better. Everything's fixed with more fuel. Of course, I don't want it to go out because that'll be bad for everybody else around here. Yeah. A lot of people don't have a generator or something else they can do. And if you have electric heat and stuff, you'll really be in a hurt because it's super cold. We got about three days before we get above freezing. Someone just said I need to change my first name to Indiana. <laughs> yeah, nobody ever asked Indiana Jones why he was working out of Cairo. <laughs> Tried and true method, tax reasons. <laughs> it's 20 degrees out here. It's cold. Someone said they can't see the merch maybe because they're in Europe. Hmm. So teespring.com slash bus grease monkey is probably what it is, but I don't know that for a fact. I put a link on, on our community tab. If you go to our community tab, you should be able to see it. 
Someone said we need like a Stig costume for everyone to drive in. <laughs> Maybe like a bunny hat. I think we need to get a mascot bunny hat. <laughs> It's going to cut down on visibility, yeah. and it's going to make the video so much more interesting. That would be funny, like, those, like the, when the DJs wear the big yes. head things, that'd be cool. Also, <laughs> someone said I'm a pyromaniac. No, it's just really cold. I'm not letting this fire go out. The wood's just wet. You don't understand. It, it, it's rained and rained and rained and then froze. It's still super wet the cardboard wouldn't burn earlier <laughs> someone asked earlier on my live stream though when are we gonna go get bailey's bus we got a lot going on i didn't even have a room to park it until two days ago yeah <laughs> and i like having my turnaround spot back yeah hopefully i mean a couple of weeks i mean i don't think they're gonna come down here and do anything with it in the cold right now anyway There's multiple holes in the bottom of the barrel. In the bottom sides of the barrel too. <laughs> it probably didn't help that I threw that giant log in there. Which one? Th that one right there that's blocking all the airflow. I was gonna say you put two giant logs in there. <laughs> After I told you definitely not to do that one. <laughs> we couldn't get that to burn in a big fire. <laughs> Put enough heat to it, anything burns. <laughs> That's all coming your way. It's a little smoky this way, yeah. Well, ask some questions about buses then. I mean, we're answering questions and people are talking about the fire. <laughs> You know, said it's 75 in Tampa. He's a show off. Two nights. When's the next bus coming up? We don't have room for a next one right this second. Well, we do. We have a spot right now. One. Yeah. I don't I don't have anything specifically scheduled. I gotta finish up Lance's bus and I gotta finish up the Scenic Cruiser. The Scenic Cruiser guys reached out to me this week. They want me to go ahead and finish the Scenic Cruiser, that they're not gonna come back and do it. Um, but they waited until the weather got really nasty. So this by this weekend it'll be nice temperatures and we'll get down there and get it knocked out. It's probably got about two days worth of work besides removing that power steering arm that we're gonna send out to have rebuilt. It's almost up, it's still raining here. It's it's it stopped. It's coming though, more. A lot more. <laughs> I went to the grocery store and got the essentials. I have peanut butter sandwiches and beer. I don't have to leave my bus for days. What's the to the to do list on Bailey's bus? That that's actually a good question because I know nothing about her her bus. Well, it needs new tires, which we have. We're gonna, so we're gonna have to jack it up, get it out of the holes that it's sunk into. Yeah. Get all new tires on it. When you say get all new tires on it. Are we calling a tire guy to come put tires on? We're going to probably take the tires off there, take them to the tire shop, have them swap our tires onto those rims, and then put those rims with the new tires back on. Let me get some more clarification there. We're going to take the wheel and tire off the bus as a combo, throw it in the back of my truck, take it to the tire shop, and there. Okay. Yes. You nodding your head is hilarious with bunny ears. <laughs> you guys can't see that. Um... <laughs> I just don't want to dismount and mount semi tires. We're not doing it. We're taking it to a tire shop. Perfect. They charge twenty dollars a tire here to do it. For semis? Yes. I'm never doing tires again. <laughs> it's not worth it. I hate doing tires on trucks. I hate doing tires in general. There, we're not going to put a roof over the pad. I saw somebody just ask that. Um, that's an RV parking spot. Eventually, we'll have the shop up here, which is pile of metal back there eventually that'll be built and then we'll have a roof over this someone said 46 gallons a piece of later <laughs> it's 
It's really cold here. I'm not letting that fire go out. It's very cold. Someone said it's four degrees in Chicago. Do you miss Chicago? Bailey's bus aired up the last time he started it, and it started and ran fine. He has run it within the past year, so I don't anticipate any, and he drove it there, so I don't anticipate any major issues. I know it's got a bit of a uh, kingpin problem, but he has brand new kingpins there for it. But I would assume that we would drive it home unless that's super, super bad that we'll drive it home and then do all that here. Yep. It's only like 17 miles away from where we're at. So it's it's not far. How bad are the tires that you're that worried about 17 miles? Uh, the Scenic Cruiser ones look like new compared to those. Yep, we're putting tires on it. I could stick my pinkies in some of the cracks, for real. Can you see it, the air? <laughs> you can almost see the air. Well, you can see the air in between the cracks. <laughs> could you park another bus in them? Almost. Why can't it be like that without the fuel? I know. I wish I could get that log out of there. That would help things. I'm going to say that bunny suit is probably extremely flammable. Don't try that. <laughs> I don't know what material it is. It makes it fuzzy, but it's probably laced with chemicals. Learned that lesson. Uh, never weld in an Under Armour hoodie. Because <laughs> you will look like that. I've caught on fire several times in one of those. This thing is what's stopping it, though. It's a huge chunk of wood. Yeah. Somebody's asking, how many batteries will I buy? Um, kind of fluid right now on my setup. Well, you could tell them what you're what you're getting soon. Here. I have four Battleborns on the way from my bus right now, and I think that's going to get me pretty far. I already have an inverter. And what are you doing? I'm going to let you funk that big piece of wood out of there. Let's see if you can scoop it up out of there. Okay. If it doesn't work, don't do it. But I think you can do it. If it doesn't work, don't do it. <laughs> like get it? No, hook under it and lift it up. You're doing a really good job putting it farther down in there. Nope, it's gonna... That actually might help it. I'm not using a fiberglass shovel to flip the barrel over on myself. It was it was moving a lot. <laughs> Problem solved. I learned how to start fires at school zip ties and bias plies. Just give it more diesel. It's really warm over here. I deleted him from the channel already, Tyler. I don't. Obviously, we know who that asshole was. Yep, uh, he's already been kicked out of the chat once already. Oh, and he came up with another name. Yeah. I mean, he can keep doing it. <laughs> that guy's a stalker. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be reading comments. Someone said they're just waiting to see if I catch on fire. <laughs> I already did. You missed it. Oh, he did. Yes. <laughs> the brake clean kept putting my lighter out earlier when I was starting it, and I set my thumb on fire, but it's so cold I couldn't feel it until after my thumb was out. <laughs> I didn't burn myself. We're good. Professional. I don't even own a snow shovel here, by the way. So if we get a few inches of snow, I guess I'm not like I'm gonna shovel our drive or anything anyways. <laughs> Someone said it needs to be Tennessee Tyler banjo music and diesel repair, but diesel spelled wrong. <laughs> D -E -Z -E -L. I'm not opposed to that. I could put an ad on Facebook. I'll pay somebody $50 to shovel my driveway. <laughs> you know, I have my snow shovel. You know where it's at? At your house. Oh. I didn't think I was going to need it here. <laughs> I looked at it. I was like, that's a waste of space in the back of my truck. I figured whoever buys the house just gets an extra snow shovel. Plus, my boats always use a tractor. Oh. <laughs> You're in the snow. That was a good one. <laughs> God tastes just like the dually but we got the property already for 
for the weather that's coming. Everything's closed up, sealed up, put tarps over stuff. Oh, speaking of tarps over stuff. Yeah, put it over the truck still. I gotta go get it. Oh, you didn't get it? <laughs> no. How was the hill? Was it slippery or no? No, it's fine. It's way better than our road. Okay. I don't think it's gonna get too slippery because of how rough it is until we get a lot of ice. But if that thing ice is over, there is no chance I'm getting back up here. It is 20 degrees out. There's no way I'm doing a cold start on Lenny. That would just be horrible for him. I, I use a block warmer, so I'm not an idiot. We might start my bus at some point. <laughs> Let me wait till it gets up to 32. Tyler did a cold start on the Dodge. Did you record that earlier? Oh, that was in your video, wasn't it? Or no? That was one the other day. I did one this morning. Oh. I don't remember if I recorded that one. She was not happy. <laughs> And out of nowhere, it just <laughs> clears right up. This fancy electronically injected trucks. It would be really fun to go sledding down the hill. Let's uh, stop throwing stuff on the fire. We're going to finish this live in just a little bit anyways. We'll save our diesel. <laughs> I'm just trying to stay warm. <laughs> All right, you want to read through there real quick if there's any last comments or questions? It was missing a lot of cylinders. It's like it starts on one cylinder and then it goes to two. Then it gets up to about three and it will run on three. Because <laughs> uh, that was the third attempt at starting. You can't step on the throttle at all, though. If you step on the throttle, it dies instantly. I never touch the throttle. It's electronically controlled with injection pump. Are silver sides lights 24 volt or just a starter? What does that guy say? Are silver sides lights 24 volts or just the starter? Silver sides are 12 volts. There's nothing 24 volt on there except for my my electronic my house system I set up as 24 volt to be more efficient. Somebody said Tyler fixed the greed heater. You don't pay rent. It's Tyler's truck. What does that have to do with paying rent? <laughs> Is it? Yeah. What is his deal? I don't know. But at this point, he's bought me a six-pack of beer. It's a race truck. It don't need no grid heater. Not only is he an idiot, he don't even pay attention to what real-life things happen around here. Oh, I could care less. Every time somebody watches a video, whether it's a good comment or a negative comment, it still helps me out. It's also the Revolution shirt. It's one of their favorites. We're working on some other designs and stuff, too. I have a... Uh, one of our, our sponsors for the channel, again, is Skillshare. And we have a video coming out with them. I'll talk about some of the classes that I've been taking on there and stuff, too. It's pretty cool. Okay. Well, I think we've been on about an hour. We didn't have really much to talk about other than what we got coming up this week. We're, I will do a live for everybody, not just Patreon, when we do the removal of the power steering uh, ram on the Cena Cruiser. That, that should be fun. Where are we planning on doing that? Um, the first day we have decent weather down there where we can get it, get it up. Okay. Um, and then we're going to be doing a bunch of work on Lance's bus. We'll probably live stream a lot of that on Patreon. Um, that's been a big hit with what we've been doing over there. Um, but I'll still shoot regular video of that stuff for YouTube as well. How many hours of live stream did we do over those couple days? We did like 20 hours of live stream. Which on, you guys still got to see the condensed down version afterwards. But can we get Lance's show tunes? We need to get some Lance show tunes going. Yeah, we'll have to get him to do it. Yeah, he danced on the one video, but not, he didn't do a Broadway show tune. But yeah, we'll do we'll do the scenic cruiser when we get that power steering arm off of there. Um, I don't know what other lives I'm going to do. I see I can't do a regular live like that on on YouTube because of like that person we've been kicking off. Like they come in and they post all kinds of porn links and ridiculous stuff and make stupid comments. 
and we can't we can't watch the feed the whole time we're actually working so it's very unfortunate that we can't do it but we can't it's just not possible we, we need more people to sit and moderate the chat while we do that yeah so we're gonna go in and warm up and get ready for this nasty weather i'll uh i'm sure i'll post some pictures of it in the morning if we actually get what they say we're gonna get but it is supposed to get really nasty. It's definitely headed right towards us. It's snowing a little bit right now, very, very lightly. It was coming down like little ice pellets earlier when I was out. I was doing that last night too. Oh. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. We appreciate that. It is cold, my feet are frozen. And the fire didn't work out so well. <laughs> a little bit going. Uh, it's diesel burning off of the bark of the tree. <laughs> there's, there's a solid small fire going down in there. <laughs> I, I can see the flames and I have not put diesel down there in a minute. <laughs> uh, I can see a little bit, yeah. I think what I need to do is come out here and just treat this wood with gasoline, like let it soak into every fiber for a few days. No. And then we light it with a flamethrower. Because then when it when it does light up, it shoots out of there like a cannon. <laughs> just got to back my truck up. Yeah. So I think it just went out. And, and it, no, it's still burning. Oh. All right. Well, hey, thank you so much. We're going to let you go. It's very cold. It's going to get really nasty. And tomorrow should be a really crappy day here on the property. But I think it'll, if it really comes, it's going to make beautiful, beautiful pictures. So I'm really excited to go out and take some pictures of the property if it gets snow covered and ice covered and stuff like that. I think that'll be really neat. Oh, well, there is a good fire going on the bottom. Told you. But it's too chilly. So we're done. Good night, everybody. Appreciate you.